So tell me about F.U. Wally, Dan. Okay, well, it started up, we were on a gig up in Timmins, and it was me and uh, Jeff Fluffy Call and uh, Paul Holman, who's a great drummer, and we were there for a three-night gig. And it wasn't a fun, it's a hard go. It's four sets on Thursday, four on Friday, and eight sets on Saturday. And he took his girlfriend with him. Biggest mistake you could ever want to do is take your girlfriend to the shittiest accommodations in the crappiest hotel in Timmins. And it's uh, one of those gigs where you have to play and play and play and you're exhausted after singing all those songs. So anyways, on the Saturday, uh, his girlfriend started fighting with him and he was in a bad mood. So he was getting progressively more and more depressed all day. And he was moping around on stage. He wasn't singing, he wasn't doing his job. And I was getting more and more pissed off as the night went on. So we had one more set to go and I'd been singing all afternoon and all night. And I was getting, my voice was getting cacked after the third day. And I just came to him after that third set and I said, listen buddy, says, I don't care about your girlfriend, I don't care about anything, this is a job, and you're gonna sing and you're gonna put a smile on your face and do your job. And he said, fuck you, Wally, I quit. Took his amp, amp and his guitar and went down the street, rolled it down the street on wheels to the bus station. So the drummer follows him out the door, follows him down the street, and he says, Fluffy, let's look at this logically. You're in Timmins. The bus doesn't come for eight hours. You won't have enough money to get on the bus even when it comes. Why don't you just go back, say you're sorry to Wally, and play the last set, and then I'll drive you back to the bus station. And so he agrees to do that. He comes back, walks in the bar with his amp and his bass, and proceeds to come over to me. And by this time, he's crying his eyes out. Say, I'm sorry, Wally, I'm sorry. And I said, I don't want to hear it. Just go over there and plug in. We got another set to do. And so we plug in, we start playing Sweet Home Alabama, and the dance floor fills up with people. And I said, this is the most bizarre night of my life. I've got to write a song about it. So that's where Fuck You, Wally came, came from. And it has to be thought to myself, it has to be a song that just typifies being on the road with a band and it's your last day and you're so sick and tired of each other and you hate each other and you just want to go home and you're sleep in your own bed and and the whole nine yards. So that's what Fuck You Wally's all about. So I wrote the song and I started playing it here at McGrady's because it's the only place that'll let me play it because everybody else, I got fired from Rock and Docs for playing it. So like, like, at least Sam is open-minded enough to allow me to play because it's a dirty song. So when you hear it tonight, believe me, you're, some of it's shocking, but it's real life. And that's, uh, that's all I can say about it. It's real life. And so I built a show around it, and I, I threw a couple other shitty songs in there so that, you know, uh, we'll give it a little bit of time to work up to it. Okay. Good man, Dan. <laughs> F you, Wally.